Cheers. I have been digging through an old collection of floppies. And in that collection, I found this. It is an old uh, pixel program uh, painter that is called Express Paint. It uh, even had a nice manual, one of the old school ones. I miss those. Some of you may know, most of you don't, that uh, I'm active in the demo scene and have been doing graphics since I was just a kid. And uh, when this was released in 1987, I was not an old boy. I was five years old. So I think it would be quite interesting to try to pixel like it's 1987. Let us do that. And here they are, the Express Paint disc and uh, the Extra disc. And what I like the most, user manuals. The old fashioned ones with lots of details. And here we can see the date, 1987. So let's have some fun. I think someone has uh, played around with this uh, before. There is no icon, at least not one that is working for Express Paint here. So let's start it for from Amiga shell like this. I'll just use the default resolution. Not speeding up this part to show you how slow and how fast it is to load from floppy. There is some files missing on the disk, but uh, luckily no showstoppers. If we press uh, this uh, sliders, we can set up our own uh, palette, which is useful when making graphics because the default palette looks almost like a ZX Spectrum, very sharp colors. But uh, it's quite easy to set up your own. This icon is used to draw squares. The thinking part is uh, when the program is loading. So we can either paint, make a square that is uh, black inside like this, or we can use one that is filled with the color like this. Much like m more modern pixel programs had. This next icon is uh, a spray can and uh, it is a spray can. This tool or icon makes us uh, be able to make a perfect circle. No need to work on making them ourselves. This is uh, for zooming in. It is not very useful though, because if I choose this, I jump straight out of it again. So the zooming is mostly for using the tool that is already active. The program can also insert text like this. So if we write uh, testing and press enter, it um, some text that we can move around on the picture like this. It is even possible to choose uh, nice fonts in this uh, pixel program. So if we choose sapphire like this and write something. Testing yet again. We get some nice fonts. Quite powerful. 
practice in 1987. With this tool we can uh, cut parts of the picture and use as, uh, as I, I'm not sure, we can call it sprites and uh, paint with the sprite on the picture. So if we use this uh, fill tool that is here, I call it filter, maybe a stamp, uh, we can uh, use uh, the cutout and duplicate it around the screen like this. This was uh, quite unique for the Amiga at the time, handling big sprites, at least on, on a home computer. And that's about all I wanted to show in the program uh, before uh, trying to use it to make some proper art. And if we have a look at the menus, it's not much going on. But uh, let's have a look at the about. We can see that this Express Paint 2.0, copyright 1997 by Par Software, written by Steven Vermeulen. Sorry if I butchered your name. Let's see if we can make something decent with this. I hope so. I'm not sure if it is the emulator or if it's the program, but I struggled a lot with uh, uh, what I was painting was not being registered like it should and uh, choppy movements and uh, etc. And I don't have that problem in other programs in the emulator. So I don't think it is the emulator. But the program works, and this was 1987, so not bad at all. Um, I don't think it can uh, compete with Deluxe Paint, though. Not at all. Quite cool piece of history, this, then. Express Paint. I had a lot of fun uh, using this. It was made in 1987 I said, but on this disc it said 1985, but copyright 1988. A fun fact was uh, I was trying to be lazy and download the ADFs from the internet 
I even asked a friend of mine who has a lot of software. But it's not possible to find it anywhere. The 3.0 version is available on archive.org, but this is the 2.0 version and I couldn't find it anywhere. So I need to archive this disk and put them on archive.org. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did, and I hope you have a wonderful evening. Cheers.